Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Well, let's, uh... Well, I think we can actually advance the King of Talus quest now. I forgot to do that. I think you can do it now. I actually have it listed a little later in my notes, but still during this whole section of sequences. Or events to do. Oh yeah, there we go. Realms Beyond the Horizon. Yeah, we've uh, met the King of Talus. He's in Medeva. Eight hundred years? What was he supposed to do? I guess they kind of forgot or it wasn't passed down or who knows. Yeah, just some experience for that. So we can tell uh, Talus what he needs to do. But for now, let's, uh, well, let's go find him, I guess, first. But let's get out of here first. Oh, yeah. I should, uh, equip that, uh, dagger back on, uh, or the Keishan Impaler. Back on, uh, Police. There it is. Alright, let's get out of here. So, first things first, let's head over to the foresty area. Hopefully I can make it there. It's on the way, so might as well go there first. There it is, that's the place I like to use. And let's find uh, the King of Talus. Oh, we found him already. Yeah, it's a very common encounter. I think I've said that before, but we can tell them what needs to be done. Yeah, yeah, they uh, didn't remember somebody forgot to pass it down or whatever. It was lost through time. I think he'll uh, actually show up later and the Kasani village. But I don't think that'll trigger for quite some time. We could go back to Linnell. There's actually something to do there, but... I want to do this encounter farming first. Now... I want to save, because... I'm going to be reloading if I... Don't get the encounters that I want. We are looking for... A couple of encounters. Uh, there's an ice encounter with uh, Hanul and Kasani warriors. We're looking for that one. There's another one with blue onis where we can find an item called Udakar's heart. Uh, that's for a quest much later on in the game. Well, not that much later, but a little bit later on in the game. And uh, we want to get that. So I'm looking for those two encounters. Uh, I will, if I remember, post all the enemies you can encounter on the world map right now in the video description. Because there's some uh, unique enemies to the world map. So let's see if we can get one of the two that I'm looking for. The Udakar's heart one is pretty rare. <laughs> but getting it now will save you some time. Well, I already found it. Oh, right. Uh, I need to equip Joseph's... Oh, I already did. Okay. Oh! Well, I already got the level 2 summon. So I picked up the Blood Elemental summon, as well as the Wraith summon. Uh, the Wraith is a Lightning Elemental or Energy Elemental summon. It casts Lightning over and over again. It's actually really good. Uh, even though it's just a Lightning spell, it's pretty good. 
And he's got a lot of HP and AP. At least for a mage, he's got a lot of HP. The Blood Elemental, it doesn't do much damage, but it'll randomly cast Vitalize on the party, and that's really good. He's also got a pretty good amount of HP for a summon, so he's pretty tankish. But I do need to equip the Ring of Stone. I don't have him right yet. No. Let's go with the Ring of Repulsion. Oh, obviously I got those from the quests that I've been getting experience from. The King of Talos there. That stuff gave me experience for it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, show off the Blood Elemental, shall we? I'm not going to show off the Dragon Summons. Maybe in uh, my last episode, maybe I'll show them off, but... Eh. Yeah, these guys are, I think they're called Kasani Warriors, but yeah, you got Life Leech. Sacrifice. Ah, damn it. Yeah, see, that was uh, the random Vitalize. You got Mind Drain, and it's a pretty decent Vitalize spell that he'll randomly cast. And it's just totally random. It just kind of happens. I think when he attacks or gets attacked, I forget exactly what triggers it, but it's it's pretty common. And he's got Desperation. And he can also cast the Fireball spell and the Wall of Fire spell. But again, I'm banning Wall of Fire. But Fireball is pretty good. His Fireball's not too uh, weak. I hardly ever use it, but it's there. Oh, yep, I got poisoned. I guess these guys can poison you. Yeah, yeah, they can poison you. So that's the blood uh, elemental. Gave you an idea of what he's like. Uh, he's kind of like a default summon, if you don't want to use either of the other two. Uh, the other two, I think, are... Yeah, he explodes into blood, it's kind of weird. But, uh, the other two, I think, are overall... Well, the race, it really depends on the area. You know, obviously, if there's enemies that are not that weak to energy attacks, then okay. But, uh, the summon from the stone, uh, ring, which we probably don't have yet... Is overall the physically strongest summon, but his defense and HP are terrible. So you are going to have to summon him repeatedly throughout an area, but that's not really a big deal. I like that summon a lot. Especially against enemies weak to physical attacks. Man, he does a tremendous amount of damage. Now I don't have him yet. Let's go ahead and summon that Wraith, shall we? He's got a cool summon animation. Well, the sound effect didn't play, but normally he, like, screams, and it's kind of creepy. We hear a bunch of screams. But yeah, he'll cast energy over and over and over again. Not too great right here, but, uh... Let's see how much he's doing. Well, I don't know how much he's doing. He died too quickly. But yeah, he's actually set to cast her. And he's doing 20 damage a spell. But these guys are pretty resistant to it. But you can also manually cast Silence or Blind or Life Drain or the Light spell. Uh, Life Drain? I don't know why that says target loses a level. I don't think that's what happens. I'm pretty sure it just drains HP. Maybe it does lower their level. I don't know, I never use that. I would think it would uh, drain HP, but... 
He's got the life leech spell, or life leech uh, chain attack. I think Canoodle's right over there. Icy Touch, Mind Drain, and Silence. Let's see if I get damaged, if I can... Come on, damage him. No? Whatever. Yeah, that guy in gold, that's Hanul. He's uh, only a slightly stronger uh, Kasani warrior. Even though these guys are called Kasani Keratics, they're misnamed. I believe they're actually called Kasani Warriors. Same with those Kasani Prisoners way back at the beginning of the game. They're all actually the same enemy. They're just... Well, I imagine these guys are just higher level. Maybe get a nice Protect going. Uh, maybe Blind. Oh, that was the Instant Death spell that again failed to work. Maybe get blind going. There we go. Oh wow, 322? Must have been a crit. Yeah, I mean, at level 8 crit, his crits almost always happen. <laughs> they happen way more often than not, it's, at least it seems that way. But we get the Eraker, uh, or Eraker Gemstone, or however you pronounce that. Now, as a word of advice, the closest exit to where you start, in case you need to just run away from an encounter, is right over here. And that's how you get there. Now, both the cave and the hill, they lead to the second and only other exit in the game. I mean for this map. You just have the two exits. Ah, okay, we uh, acquired another summon. Oh, there we go. Now he actually made the sound that he's supposed to make. And then it just played again for some reason. <laughs> Weird things in this game sometimes. I'd like to show off that uh, Blade of Urath summon, if I can. But I'll show you where the other exit is. Again, you can take either the hill or the cave, either way. Let's summon the Blade of Urath. Nope, not the Red Minotaur. There is no reason to use any of the dragon summons, or any of the level 1 summons in general, really. And don't use any of the dragon summons at all. Just stick with the level 2 uh, original 4 ring summons. Although we don't have the Ring of Darkness one yet. Which is probably for the best, because it's not very good. But we got Added Blow, Sacrifice, Desperation... And Life Leech. And he died. <laughs> now, ordinarily, what I would be doing with the... Uh, I would not be tanking with the Blade of Urath. He has very little HP. Um, you want other characters to tank, and you want to have regen on the Blade of Urath. And protect on him at all times. But I just wanted to show off his... Uh, abilities there. I don't think he has any spells. He is easily the most physically strongest of uh, all the summons, and casting in power on him is actually not a bad idea.
I'll be putting all three of those summons to use. Now, if you take the cave, I believe it comes up... Oh, yeah, right over there, actually. Ah. Get vitalized going. Didn't realize Joseph was dying there. There's a lot of these guys around. I'll try and finish all the quest stuff so that we can get ready to go back to uh, Iona because that's where we're going to be going next. You can either go to Iona or Ikemo Swamp, uh, your choice. If I can't pick that, Success. I was just going to leave it. Instead of bothering to equip the ring of... Uh, I don't know. Whatever that ring is that increases your pick lock scale by three. But yeah, if you take the cave, it leads... From here. It, this is where it comes out. So. Either way. But there's a bunch of unique enemies on the world map. But anyway, let's find the next one. So I am looking for a world map encounter in the ice area with blue onis. And I will be back once I find it. Oh, and one other thing uh, for Joseph, now that I don't need summons to work on, I am going to equip the Torque of Haste on him. If you don't have a Torque of Haste, you could use the Torque of Time. And I'm going to leave the Ring of Stone on for now because it gives him plus 40 HP and I think that's pretty good. Alright, I'll be back once I find the encounter and I'll just reload if I get the wrong encounter. It's quicker than trying to leave that encounter, just trust me. Well, here's a weird encounter. If you get this one, you start up here and if you walk down here... There should be a bunch of NPCs. Yeah, there they are. Oh, remember Nath? Yep. Way back at the beginning of Masad. Or, at the beginning of the game in Masad. And there's just a bunch of people that you can talk to. None of them are particularly interesting, but... I figured I'd show them. At least somebody from Masad survived. Oh, by the way, uh, Masad is no longer... Uh, ...on the world map. You can't enter it or anything, and... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I mean, I guess... whatever. I guess it's been completely destroyed. If I'm going too quick, you can just pause on their dialogue. I think that's all the people that are here. I oh, know there's a little kid here too. Oh, there are a whole bunch of these people. Yeah, not much to Linnell anymore. I think that's it. No? There's more? It's a Gamari. I think that's it. Yeah. 
If I missed somebody, oh well. No quests or anything, or any advancement for anything. They just kind of walk through the area, and that's kind of it. Let's uh, get out of here. Went the wrong way. Okay, this time I really will be back once I find the right encounter. Okay, so yeah, I found an old hills encounter. And it's just a bunch of Kasani helping you fight Black Knights. It's kind of an interesting encounter in that it actually has the old map. Not really sure why or how that makes any sense, but... I'm not going to bother fighting. Let's just get out of here. I just thought it was interesting to show you. Okay, I'm back after the game froze on me, and I found the encounter. Uh, so this is a... Well, there's blue minotaurs here as well. But there's blue oni males. Uh, they are weak to fire, uh, immune to ice. They're strong against pierce and slash attacks, so uh, I would use uh, meteor storm on them. That's pretty much the way to go. I am going to make a quick save here, just because I don't want to have a freeze here. Who should I summon here? Uh, yeah, let's summon the... Yeah, let's go with the Blade of... Should we go with the Blade of Arath? Uh... N no, I think the enemies here are more weak to magic, so let's go with uh, the Wraith. There we go. We heard the scream. <laughs> that Wraith is pretty awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite summons in the game. And nice thing about Onis, they are susceptible to trip. And of course the Devossers, they work their magic. I didn't even need to trip him. Let's go through the cave this time. The uh, chest we're looking for... Oh, let's... Uh, I took some damage there, so let's... Go ahead and use Life Drain. That doesn't really seem to do anything. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that does. Does that do anything? Maybe it really does lower their level. Why is it called Life Drain, then? Who knows? Who cares? I guess it's whatever. I'm not going to take out every enemy. Just gonna quickly make my way through. Would like to get overpower to actually work. And not just go through the animation needlessly. Can you please overpower? No? Why is it not working? Let's try it again. There we go. I'm not going to be able to get trip off, but I can get backstab off by itself. Ah, black imps. Can't trip these guys. I think we already fought these guys on the world map before, right? Well, they're strong against fire, ice, and energy. And pierce attacks, but they're vulnerable to slash. Not that I have any slashing elemental attacks. 
the debossers are plenty strong enough. Yeah, that's why the energy is not going to do too well against those guys, but that's all right. Figured I'd show off the cave this time. Maybe I can get a nice little instant death spell on him. Probably not. Ring of the Night that I'll never use, of course. One of these is a dead end. Right, that's just a dead end. That guy's probably coming after me, right? No? Well, that way doesn't lead anywhere, I don't think. Eh. Let's go take this guy out. Why not? He's bothering me. I want to see what's over here. I forget. I'm going to go a little long just so that I can uh, get all this quest stuff done. So we'll probably go to the 40 minute mark. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a dead end. Which is also why I wanted to do a little shorter episode yesterday. Now, one thing that's kind of weird is that the Utica's heart, we don't have that quest yet. Uh, the quest that it's used for. Nor can we get it. Uh, it doesn't become available until right before the final dungeon. And it's one of three items that you need. But uh, the thing is, is that the other three... Oh, I want to trip him now. Or the other two, you can't uh, get until you accept the quest. Yet this one shows up. Which is probably a bug. I think my Meteor Storm killed uh, my Wraith. I believe he is weak to fire, so you gotta be careful with Meteor Storm with him. But it's not really a huge deal. But yeah, it's the heart of Udakar, a bull man. And apparently it's required for some potion that we'll be making later on in the game. Well, we're done with the random encounters for now. So let's go back to Linnell. Just figured I'd make a save. Hopefully I don't have to do any more of those ice encounters because running from them is really annoying. Well, I'll have to do them later on for the rest of those items, but... Back to Linnell, unfortunately. Okay, I finally made it into Linnell. The game froze twice on me entering the city. Now, for the outside parts of Linnell, I would recommend summoning the... Blood Elemental. The, uh... Vitalize is useful, plus the Blade of Urath is just going to get overwhelmed here really easily. Let's go ahead and equip the... 100-fold Katana that I've been hanging on to. The best two-handed sword that Fleece can equip in the game. And more importantly, it is Slashing Elemental. And we need a way to deal with those liches with her. Close. What the... What the hell? There's no door there. Uh... That's a weird bug. Hopefully we can take out this lich.
Now we just take out the Frozen Bone Knight. Now there are still quests with time limits on them, by the way. Uh, in particular... That Seeds of a Her quest. I know that one will disappear when the final dungeon opens up. But anyway, we want to talk to this guy. We're looking for Belon. No, he's dead. Well, we needed his help to get some seeds, but I guess we're screwed. Oh. Do you have any? No. Oh, you do have it. Oh, but you left it on Iona. Yeah. So, effectively, once we complete the next two areas, some quests will disappear. I forget exactly which ones will disappear, but, uh... Is Durgan still down here? Yeah, he is. Not that he does anything, but... But, uh, you want to do Iona first. Because the Dust of a Her is there, and we want to be able to hand that in. Without having to backtrack out of Iona before finishing Iona. Because if you do Ikemos first... You're going to have to backtrack out of Iona all the way back to Sanavar before completing it. And that's not good. Not exactly my idea of being efficient. Of course, another Magus Boots. I'll go back to the Kishin and Paler once I get into the sewers. The sewers is the only part of the town that I would actually use the, uh... Keishan Impaler or the Sornahan's Dagger. If you really don't like the instant death effect. It does work! Eventually. Really, I mean, all Fleece cares about is backstab anyway, so... Her attack power is really not relevant. <laughs> Alright, almost there. Let's go ahead and equip Fleece back with her Keishan Impaler. If I could get to her. There we go. Oh, we got a Guardian Scutum. That's what that guy dropped. That's a cool looking shield, but... I would never use that. The Kite Shield versions are better. The blue Oni male drops that shield. Where the hell is the Keishan Impaler? There it is. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to equip her, uh... Guardian Kite Shield? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, let's head on into the sewers. Let's make a save so that the game doesn't freeze on me. And, uh, I did forget to re-equip the Steel Gauntlets on Fleece. I forgot to remove the Thief's Gauntlets, so you'll want to do that. We want to actually head down to the bottom of the sewers. Okay, now that we're in the sewers, let's go ahead and summon the Wraith. He's really, really good in here. A lot of enemies weak to energy. I do want to show off how useful he is against these upcoming golems. He's also good against those onyx gargoyles. Not so much against the gargons, but they're pretty easy to deal with anyway. But I do want to show him off against these golem guys, and then uh, I'll just meet you where we gotta go. Which is going to be at that campsite. So head back towards the marketplace exit and just keep going past it, and then down that path on the right. Ugh. 
Yeah, good 50 damage there by the Wraith. Oh, 67 that time. That's pretty good, and he'll do it constantly, so it's consistent damage. And he'll never run out of AP. He's got a ton of it. Definitely one of the best summons in the game. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna head down here, so you just go down here. Go down this path, and then go over... Right there. Uh, this The marketplace ex entrance is right there. So we're just going to walk all the way past it to the end, so... I'll meet you there. Okay, so I'm down here by the path that leads to the campsite. Yeah, the marketplace exit is up there. I was a little off when showing you with the map there. But yeah, you just go past it and... We go down here. A couple more enemies to take out, but... Nothing major. We will have to fight that alligator beast again. Uh, now for the alligator beast... I'm not gonna bother to equip fleece with their two-handed weapon because I don't really see a point for just one enemy. Also, who the hell is keeping these fires going? I mean, there's no one here in the city anymore. Come on. On top of that, where's the sludge coming from? Again, no one in the city. And why do the sewers look so damn... ...similar to how they were? I mean... Really? There's like no extra damage? Or no damage from... ...the whole thing with Sornahan and Galleon? Of course it won't. Where is the chest? I thought there was a chest that was locked. Oh, there it is. Success. Why is this guy spinning? Why does he spin? I'm very confused by this. Whatever, let's take out the damn alligator beast. Well, at least Fleece inflicted slow on him. Yeah, good 40 damage there by the Wraith. Yeah, so Fleece will probably do zero damage. Well, she will do zero damage here, but no big deal. Just the one enemy. And I think that's the last enemy I gotta fight. There we go. Let's keep going. Now we came all this way for... an Onyx Gargoyle. No, I wanted to get that chest. I forgot that this guy was here. Eh, decent damage there. I think they are weak to energy, but... They, uh, have just good defense all around. Okay. We get the hunting horn, which is the horn of Vatagar. I forget if I have to equip, or not equip that, uh, appraise it. I do. By the way, it was tone page four and six that I appraised off screen. Okay. So... We want to get out of here and uh, go back to Sanavara. So, 
I do want to show something off, so I'll meet you at the uh, outskirts exit of the sewers. Okay. Here we are, back at the outskirts entrance. Or, yeah, I guess entrance to the outskirts. Exit of the sewers, whatever. Although, before we go out that way... Let's go ahead and make a quick save. Now, I'm not going to edit out the loading screen because I want to show you what happens when you leave the sewers from this exit. It's very odd. And then, once I leave Linnell, I'll just meet you back in Sanavara. I'll just head over there off screen. We're almost done with what I want to do on this episode. I just want to be able to just head off, off to uh, Iona on the next episode. Yeah, you teleport over here for some bizarre reason. But it makes my life easier. Let's get out of here. Meet you back in Sanavara. Okay, we're back at Sanavara, and there's two people we want to talk to. First is Athodi. I'm going to go up to Temple. And there's also Sato. Oh no, I've had her uh, Thief Scotlands equipped this whole time. Huh. Oh well. I thought I had forgotten to re-equip her with something, but, uh, oh well, I think I needed, uh, ten appraised to appraise Fatigar's Horn anyway, and I haven't really gone through any areas, really. Let's talk to Athodi. We have the gemstone, and for defeating, uh, Hanul, we get another tome page, and the bone jerkin for Rosalind, which I'm not going to use. If I can find it, I will show you why. Well, at least I should have the... Oh, there it is. It is weaker than what she currently has. Although, it, it does have holy, and it is very light. You know, holy plus two, so... Maybe, I guess, if you care about that. At least it gives you a reason to think about it. Need 10 uh, appraise to appraise these tome pages. Now I'm going to go ahead and re-equip her steel gauntlets. Which I should have had equipped the whole time, really. Whoops. And let's talk to... Sato. There she is. We found the horn. It was in the sewers. If you say so. I am a clever one. Nothing comes out of that portal talk, so don't worry about it. Now that is a plate mail for Joseph. You could use it. Uh, I think it's equal in defense to the chainmails and summoner equipment he has. It's 55. That's 40 plus 15. Yeah, it's equivalent. But it doesn't have the bonuses that the summoner leggings have. So I don't really care to do that. Since Fleece decided to level up at an inopportune time. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, uh, allocate her points. Level 22, more magic resistance. I might get to level 24. 23, 24, that's about where you'll finish the game. Maybe 25 tops. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, this has been 
fairly long episode. I may split it into two. I don't know. But anyway, uh, next time we'll be heading over to Iona. And uh, we're going to be going after the Demon of Light. So yeah, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.